All right, we turn to a developing story now. A court order to remove Ray County Sheriff Scott Childers, at least for now. It follows a petition from Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey, who claims Sheriff Childers allowed detainees to leave the jail even after he was told by judicial and elected officials it was against the law. Now, at the center of all this is the Sheriff's Inmate Work Program. KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson profiled that program in November. At the time, we saw the crew doing yard work at home. Well, the AG's office accused Childers of allowing detainees to work on French properties, drive vehicles and make purchases at stores and failed to stop contraband like drugs, alcohol and cell phones back into the jail. Tonight, Alyssa went back out to Ray County to check back in with the homeowner and the new allegations against the program and the sheriff. A petition filed by the Missouri Attorney General's office accuses Ray County Sheriff Scott Childers of, quote, misconduct and misfeasance. It lists several reasons why he should not maintain his position, including allowing inmates to leave the jail, leave the county, and leave the state without supervision. It accuses the sheriff of allowing inmates to work on his property and the properties of people he knows in the community, putting the victims of the accused in distress. Back in November, we covered the relaunch of the inmate work program as inmates did yard work in a backyard not far from the jail. We went back to that homeowner to ask them how they feel about the state's accusations against the sheriff. I was a little upset because, like I say, he has done so much for the community and with, with what they're saying about him, deep down in my heart, I just don't, don't think it's true. Anna Mae Holmes was the first resident the inmates serviced after the program started back up. She said outside of them working in her yard, she never sees them in public unsupervised. I don't think he's breaking the petition includes some of the same concerns that made the sheriff change the program several months ago. It all started though with the victims telling us that they had seen like it was a domestic violence case and a sexual abuse case a victim that had seen her abuser. So that was really alarming to her. We uh, were really upset about that. There needs to be something that is kept and tracked of who's going out where, when, and that kind of thing. Saying it is one thing and doing it is another. Well, I understand their concerns. I listened to them. I made the changes. I never in any way wanted this program to be having a negative effect in any way. That's why I made the changes. At the time, the sheriff noted those changes were inmates wearing marked uniforms and if they have a victim in the county, they can't come out to work. I did reach Ray County Sheriff Scott Childers by phone today. He said he is waiting on his attorney to make an official statement. In Ray County, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.